Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time it's a DIY product. And look at that logo down there, the MJ logo. So this means I have already made a video about another cool MJ DIY product, uh, power supply. Uh, he made in uh, 1979. I will put a link to that uh, product in the description so you can see uh, another fantastic uh, MJ product. Uh, this one, I am a little bit confused exactly what it is because we got something about frequency and then there's this on and then we got amplitude there. So, I mean, it, that looks like a sine wave or square wave kind of thing right but then we got voltages here and then there's a battery test so maybe maybe this is for something else right and then we got so yeah well this could be the frequency ranges this could be the variable frequency so yeah this could be it so it could be just be running on a battery maybe everything here is a little bit even this one, I mean, yeah, oh, and then, okay, so it's probably just a sine wave, square wave generator. And here is 12 volt external power. And then it says here 15 to 20 volt charge, but then Look at that, mains connector. So now I'm scared. <laughs> Maybe it was upgraded with an internal transformer and then this text was not updated for um, 230 volts or something like that, right? So, I mean, I am forced to open this first and see what is inside. So we are now inside this fantastic sine wave, square wave, generator and yes i was right see it was upgraded with a nice mains entry transformer fuse rectifier uh, three different random capacitors in parallel and uh, one is mounted um, with double-sided tape to the chassis here and then there's a little voltage regulator here and then the supply goes to that system here. And uh, then chassis is ground. There's a nice and beautiful um, <laughs> I don't know exactly if this is nice or beautiful anyway, but you we all need to start somewhere. And you, you always need to remember that, right? When you when you see stuff like this, uh, I, I actually just showed this to my wife um, uh, without telling her anything like that and just asking her for her opinion. And she said, oh, this looks like some kid made it. And, you know, maybe, maybe it was some kid who made this. Uh, definitely somebody without any proper training or anything. But, you know, you need to start somewhere. Here's a little loose component and this wire here is not connected to anything Ooh, look at that proper solder job oh well it was that good soldered mm, yeah <laughs> yeah i kind of i kind of like it it's i mean this reminds me of some stuff i would have made like the first little experiment or something like that right Hey, how about we just try and see if it works. What can go wrong with this tiny little transformer? And we even have a fuse, so... I mean, it's it's quite safe to power this up, isn't it? Nicely uh, isolated here with little tape and stuff. And this... Oh, there's even another little wire. And it's not even isolated. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
let's try and power this up. So here it goes. Oi, oi, oi. We we actually got output. I am actually surprised. It's um, it's even working. I mean, what is this doing? Okay, so that's. nice and stable so if I change the frequency then nothing happens and then we have to wait okay so oh uh, uh -huh, so this is the potentiometer for frequency and it is of course super dodgy holy crap let's try and uh, massage the And then the ranges, yeah, okay. It says here 150k to 1.5 mega. So that switch is also almost working. And here we go, 137 kilohertz with a lot of uh, self oscillations and all that kind of stuff. So this is the, yeah. Also a good stable switch here. Ah, oh, this is probably the fine adjust for frequency. Also seems to be I don't know what. <laughs> so, so what is this meter doing? Oh, oh dear. <laughs> I kind of like it. It's it's actually almost working. I don't know. Maybe we need a little contact spray here. But isn't that just lovely? It's from 1972, and it's using two watts, uh, and it's uh, absolutely perfect, nice and stable. Come get it before your neighbor. And um. Yeah, let's let's have a little look at because the circuit board here is in a in a socket. We should probably have a little look. So here's the circuit board with quite a lot of uh, modifications. You see a lot of holes down there, and that is of course the bulb for the level adjustments. And those are stiff wires, and uh, by the look of the colors, uh, those are telephone. Uh, wires for uh, permanent installations, by the way. And let's uh, let's have a little look at the the circuit board layout. I mean, maybe this is some sort of a kit, but it says MJ, and then RC generator, and that will be the date. 2003-72 What do you think about that, huh? It looks like it is uh, those rubbing sheets and transparent uh, plastic and then homemade uh, photo uh, board, right? Oops Well, well I kind of like this uh, aluminium plate. See, it was bent, so it's nice and stiff. And then, uh, yeah, I would have probably have cut these first and then do that bend. But then he just bent these out again. See this V and H marking? That means left and right. So it will fit. So that is a nice little DIY um, thing. I just wanted to show you how it all started for this one fantastic MJ back in 72. I hope you enjoyed this a little bit and maybe you feel that you can now share with confidence some of your good old projects. So let's see some of that and then it will be fair to, to see if they are a lot better or 
a lot worse or the same or something like that. I don't know. I'll see if I can figure out how to get this back in. It's probably like, like that, right? So thank you very much for watching. And please come back soon for more cool entertainment.